Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at how to work with a MySQL database through Unreal Engine and it's going to be pretty simple as long as you know structured query language itself. Otherwise I will be brushing through the commands as well. So basically if you want to create a database or something for your players this is going to help. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions link to my discord server is down in the video description. So let's get started. So first things first, if you want to set up a database online, doing it locally is pretty simple and I'm pretty sure you'll find many tutorials on it. But we'll be doing it remotely. So I use this website called planetscale.com and it's probably the best I can find when it comes to the free tier of databases. So head into planetscale.com and create an account. Stuff like that is pretty straightforward. Once you create an account, uh, you should see a page something like this with app.planetscale.com slash your username. Now what you want to do is click on create and you can select a region. So mine would be in India. So uh, this is the closest one I have and we'll just call our tutorial DB. So tutorial DB. Alright. It'll take a while and it's going to create the database. And you should in theory see a page which looks a little something like this. So the way you connect it is really simple. So what you do is you head into connect and wait for it to initialize actually. So until then we can actually set up the plugin and stuff. So inside your Epic Games launcher, I want you guys to search MySQL integration. I will try to link the plugin in the description as well. Head in and install it to the engine. So we'll just close our project here. Install this to the engine. It'll take a while and hopefully this is done. So the initialization is done, I believe. Now you can head in over here, head into connect. And generally in C++, by Unreal we mean we'll be using Blueprint and C++. Blueprint is in some disguise, just C++ wrapped around. So C++ is not really meant for stuff like this. So you'll have to use something like MySQL connector or something. Or you could just use this plugin which implements that. What I want you guys to do is go to General. So you'll get options for all of these. So one thing you'll notice is that you can't see the password. So these details will remain the same. Now I generally recommend uh, stuff like the password you just use an encryption algorithm. But anyways for now we'll just be doing it and I'll just delete this database. So click on new password. And over here make sure you copy it immediately because this password will be gone forever. So you can't actually access this once again. So the end the plugin has been installed now head in and open your project once again and in the meantime we can just store everything in a notepad file so this is going to be our password and the project's open but we'll just go ahead and continue our thing so I accidentally open that head back in so this is going to be our server or rather the database so database is going to be this and our username is going to be our username so store that and the host is going to be a server basically so head in and store the host as well so I'll show you guys how to input the details and stuff all right so in your content uh, first enable the plugin so click on database mysql integration and restart the project all right so we have all the credentials basically we'll be using the, these to connect to our database itself all right so inside your content folder i want you guys to right click you can do it wherever you want but i'll just do it here because i don't have anything else in the project so if you just type in sql you'll see mysql db connection actor click on that there is one more bp uh, MySQL DB connection actor I believe but I'm not really going to be using that so go ahead and type in DB connection 
you can name it anything this is basically where you'll be handling all your requests uh, or queries or whatever so if you just open it up you will see something a little like this and what you can do in, in here is actually set up your queries and stuff you can run queries from other blueprints as well but this is where you'd go about setting up the events for that so let's say a query succeeds or fails so this is where you'll set it up and we'll do that just now so head back into planet scale so we have all these we we got the credentials so first things first on begin play we'll just go ahead and connect so if i just type in connect as you would see you get an option for create new connection so we can go ahead and copy the details so our host is going to be the server generally i don't advise just putting it like this maybe encrypt them or something if you guys want me to cover something like this uh, encryption and stuff a very basic one leave it down in the comments below i'll just make a short on it or whatever so it's just manipulation of the ascii value by basic encryption what i mean is and now we can just make a map here nothing much really so we'll just leave it blank like this so now we have created a connection so if i just type in connection event on connection state changed now in theory we should be getting a print and we can go ahead and print whether it's true or false make sure you have this in the level otherwise it's not going to work or you could spawn it at runtime as well so go ahead and press play you see we get false and the simple reason being is we either got the credentials wrong or we haven't set something up and indeed we haven't set a few things up if you were to notice the epic games page for the mysql uh, integration plugin or whatever the plugin was so if i just head in and open it up you would see there is one extra step head in here if you head into libraries it will actually take you to this link where you have to download these dlls so these three are the files which you need so what you got to do is you got to copy these over in your binaries win64 folder i'll show you guys how to do that so i already have it so for in your case it will be there in your downloads folder but make sure you just extract it and stuff that's straightforward stuff so I have it in another project, so I'll go ahead and copy it. So we have lib crypto one underscore one lib SSL and MySQL connector CPP, whatever this DLL is. So we'll go ahead and copy these DLLs and inside our project. So I have it under my Unreal projects. So repos and libraries, Unreal projects, SQL database. Head into binaries, win64, and you can go ahead and paste it in here. So now, if I head back in the editor and if I press play, you see I get true. So now we have successfully connected. It's a DLL, so it's going to, you, you don't need to restart the game or anything. And the connection ID is just going to be zero because this is the first connection you're making and you will not get any error message. Now we know that the connection is succeeding. So if you have any logic, you could do that on connection state changed over here. So let's say you wanted to, you know, display an error message. Let's say you failed to connect. You could maybe create a widget or something. Just giving you guys an idea of what you could do. Now, what we will do instead of doing any of that is we'll actually run queries. So you have two more events here, which we'll use. So on update, if I type in, so you'll find on query update and you'll find on select if i type in so on query select status changed so this is for retrieving data and this is just for your you know queries which don't re return a result so now let's run the sql commands now if you guys don't know how to use mysql you can head into w3schools.com and look for sql so you'll find all the syntax which you'll need. So inserting value, so you have update, delete, select. Or I'll actually show you guys how to use this as a reference. So first of all, we want to create a table. You could either do it through uh, the command line in here. 
or you could in theory just run the function from this so I'll show you guys both the ways so running a command is very easy so you do create table with your table name so again if you want to refer to the syntax you could do this so you'll have SQL create somewhere here so if you were to search you'll have create table and as you can see here we have the syntax I am aware of the syntax so we'll just go ahead and do it over here so create table test and in the parentheses we are going to have a various columns so for example we have ID and it's going to be of type where care of 20 for example so this is basically your string don't get confused with that and maybe you could have points so points and we could make this of type medium int there are many data types you could just use int or whatever so go ahead and click on enter and now we should be able to view the table so desk test if I were to do this whoops you would see make sure you end it with a semicolon you would see that we get our columns so that's pretty straightforward now let's do something with the functions now if I were to type in a query if I simply type in query you would find a few functions so you have update data from query select data from query. these are the two you'll be using the most so we'll run update data from query and we'll create a new table we'll ignore that for now so we can type in create table so we can type in test one or we'll just call it something else we'll just call it tutorial or tut is enough and for the values we can have maybe a name and we'll make that of type where car so this is your string and maybe we could have something like value maybe or so something else maybe score once again score and this time we'll make it of type float or we could make it of type integer as well it's totally okay so we'll make it of type int this time so that should be about it now if you were to go ahead and run the query so now we can exit uh, nothing showed up but if I were to head into overview or rather if I were to head into my database and if I just refresh you would see I still have just one table which means we have done something wrong here so create table tutorial and as you can see we misspelled varchar so compile that go ahead and press play and now in theory you should have another table so I head into my tutorial DB as you see we have two tables so this is how you would create a table now you can run other queries as well so now we can go ahead and insert element so insert into TUT is our table name we could use the other table as well and we are just going to use all the columns so we'll just type in values and the values we want would be let's say gamium inside single quotation marks obviously and maybe we'll have 34 for example just took a random number there so if you were to compile and we could go ahead and print it we could print the error message so that's done we don't get any error message which means we should in theory have done it successfully so now in the console here if I do select star from dude whoops I just typed in that by mistake so as you can see we have inserted the row over there now we can also retrieve the data it's pretty simple so what we can do is we can use select star from again if you guys don't know the SQL queries you can look it up over here so select start from TOT you could add in a condition as well 
but I'll not. Now over here, I can go ahead and do a for loop. So if I do result by row, both of these are the same thing actually. And if I just split the struct pin, and if I just print the string, I'll just do a nested for loop here. So for each loop, go ahead and print this. And once this is completed, we can just go ahead and print done maybe. All right, once that's done, we should be able to actually get the values. But for this, we have to run the select query. So select, select data from query. Make sure you change this function and we'll just run the same query. All right, now if I go ahead and press play, as you can see, we get AMEM and 34. So that's about it guys. So this is basically how you would use a MySQL database in Unreal Engine. So I just briefly showed you guys how to just run the queries, get the data and insert data and stuff like that. Rest is just uh, SQL stuff and not really meant uh, related to the game engine itself. So. I hope this gives you a broad idea of what you could do. The possibilities are endless. You could set up player databases, high scores, etc, etc. I could go on listing them. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did learn something new and enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.